and taking a live look over Grand Haven this morning. The sun just starting to come up there on the beach and with this warm streak of weather we're having that is going to be a, a popular spot to be if it is open over the next couple of days. Now this morning Grand Haven State Park officials plan to be back out checking conditions after three near drownings. Yeah, one rescue involved a 12 year old girl and her 11 year old brother. In fact, officials closed the beach down last night because it was unsafe. Savannah Fish joining us live there this morning in Grand Haven. Savannah, a closed beach on a week as hot as this one is never news people want to hear. Oh, no, it is definitely not, but truly it is for their safety. Officials closed down the beach to access to Grand Haven State Park around 745 last night. Just given those near drownings and rescues that took place, and they will be back out here later this morning to assess the safety of the water and uh, decide whether or not to reopen it. Now, those drownings took place yesterday. The first rest, or rather near drownings, excuse me, the first rescue happened around 7 last night, and police say a woman was struggling to get to shore when her husband went to help her and also began having trouble. But they both ended up making it to shore, thankfully, and by the time officers got to scene. But during that incident is when another call came in where a dad from Comstock Park tried to save his 12-year-old daughter and 11-year-old son from drowning. They were all saved by an off-duty officer and other people nearby. Then while officers were still on scene, there was another call for a woman struggling in the water. Officers ended up helping her husband get her back to shore. Now, as a reminder, when you do go to the beach, you'll see those colored flags to uh, let you know if it is safe to swim or not. Those are green. Flags mean go, enter the water, but stay aware of changing conditions. Yellow flags mean caution, watch for dangerous currents and high waves. And finally, red flag means stop, stay on the beach and do not enter the water and do not swim, such as today. That is definitely going to be out there on the beach. But if you do see someone fall into the water or uh, is drowning, here is what officials say to do. Throw a flotation device in the water if you can, but be sure to call 911 and provide exact location information, including pier um, and also which beach or park you are at. And also do not put yourself in danger by trying to save somebody. I know everyone's instinct is uh, to probably try to help that person, but the best thing you can do is contact law enforcement so that they can do what they are trained to do best and uh, hopefully get those people to safety. Of course, be sure to look out for those flag colors and stay with Fox 17 News this morning as we wait to hear from uh, park officials if this beach will be open here in Grand Haven. Reporting live in Grand Haven, Savannah Fish, Fox 17 News.